Hello, I'm Gavin Grafton of AHS TV. Today, we're joined by Olivia Pock and Nolan Hellman, and we're going to talk about the school musical and the core values of AHS. Would you please tell us a little bit about yourselves for our viewers? Nolan, you can go first. Uh, hi, my name is Nolan Hellman. I played Sam Carmichael in Mamma Mia, and I'm a junior here at AHS. I'm Olivia Pock. I'm a senior here at AHS, and I played Donna Sheridan in the musical. Thank you. We're, going to, we're now going to take a closer look at our students of AHS thoughts on the musical and core values. Hi, I'm John Yancey of AHS TV, and today we're going to be looking at the musical and core values inside of Armstrong High School. Let's see what AHS has to say about it. How do you think the core values have helped to shape AHS over the past school year? Um, it helped a little bit. I feel like some kids like definitely just didn't really care to read them, but also the kids that took it into consideration really strongly believed in it. Um, I think that the core values that we have established are essential everywhere and anywhere and not just in the school. So there's something that the students should come in with already from their homes. We just reinforce them. I think the core values have been a nice positive addition to the year, reminding people and the students and staff we get to talk about the kind of uh, yeah, productive citizens we'd like to be. Do you think the musical represented our core values? Uh, yeah, very much so. It was uh, very positive. Uh, I really loved it personally, and I think a lot of other kids liked it. They, they said that they really want to do it next year, so I think it took a positive role on that. I do. Um, I think that actually the musical was kind of unity in diversity because anyone that participated in the musical will tell you that the experience was once in a lifetime and they made friends with people that never would have been friends had they not been brought together. I think the musical was amazing. I think it was a nice collection of students of different backgrounds that had a lot of musical experience and not a lot of musical experience, but I think the most important part was that the student body embraced the musical and uh, we sing Mamma Mia songs all day at my house now, so it's exciting too. Ultimately, why do you think that the production of Mamma Mia had such a positive effect throughout AHS? Um, I think uh, some of the kids that we got into, it, like some of like the sport athletes and stuff like that, we showed like a more of a bigger role than just sports and doing stuff on the side. We ended up taking over a musical. Well, first of all, it was a terrific musical and the music was good and it was a lot of fun and the kids who were in it had a lot of fun and they produced a positive effect that they pushed to all of their friends and um, I think they just kind of led by example. Uh, I'd reiterate that main point again that so many students participated and so many students supported the musical um, and not just for extra credit but I think that it really went a long way to kind of um, unite the students and, and the musical had been gone for so long so I think it was just embraced for that reason too. Well there you have it folks, straight from Hawk's Beak. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks Logan, I'm Gavin Grafton of HSTV for those of you just joining us. Today we're joined with Olivia Pock and Nolan Hellman to talk about the musical and core values. Now I'll start with Liv. As a lead role in the musical, do you think you represented the core values well? I mean, absolutely. I think in a project like a musical, there's such a sense of respect for everybody involved, including the cast, the ensemble, the stage crew, the directors. I mean, you have to respect and trust everybody that is part of the process. Yeah. Nolan, what do you think about that? Oh, I agree, for sure. Uh, I think as leads as well, not even just cast members, as leads. We were kind of expected to put in that extra sort of leadership poise. I mean, you guys set the example for everyone around you as lead roles, so, I mean, it definitely, and the respect I see, the people that were in the musical, the respect you guys have is, it, it's nice to see that. So, Nolan will go with you this time. Do you think the new core values here at AHS are helpful for students? Oh, for sure, for sure. Even even just as um, the morale booster that PBIS as a whole is, I think the core values, even though like maybe to some people they may seem cheesy, I think it's always a good reminder to have. Yeah. Liv, what do you think about the core values? I mean, I totally agree. Having that reminder, whether it's written on my teacher's board in the morning, to be positive or to be kind, I think that's, that's something we often forget about today. 
instead of getting on our phones and seeing from something negative, get that yeah. reminder. I mean, it's definitely nice. I mean, even though you think you're not hearing it, but the constant reminder of it, seeing it everywhere, it, it, it gets to you. Exactly. It, you hear it. So, Liv, do you think the music will create a positive and safe space for students oh, to express themselves? My goodness, of course. And I mean, speaking from a personal standpoint, I, have, I had never done a show before this year. So, I mean, I had, I'd always done sports, and that's always, you know, a great outlet for students as well. But I think seeing students in a different light express themselves through music and through dance and through ABBA, through, <laughs> through all the fun that it was, it was, it was really special. Yeah, I'm so glad that I was. Definitely. I mean, there were so many people that became friends and that now are so close to each other that you would never, never exactly. would have guessed. So, Nolan, what are your thoughts about the, the positive and safe, safe space in the music? I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's, I think it's a safe space for a lot, of, a lot of kids. Like, I know multiple people that have, were really hesitant about joining the musical, but once they did, they, they kind of, we really bonded. And I think this, I did Mary Pop a few years ago. We never performed it, but I think this cast has is the closest I've ever been with like that group of people. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, there was definitely, there was a lot of sports players that were in the musical involved, and they even, they said there was almost a closer bond than they had over their sports, which I've played sports my whole life. There's, that's like, it's like a family, and that's definitely what you guys seem to me when you were out there. So April's core value was responsibility. How did the work that you, uh, you and others put in the musical convey to that? No, you can go first. I mean, there was definitely a responsibility aspect, especially to being a lead. Uh, there were a million lines you had to memorize and movements and dances you had to get down. And I think the entire cast was really, 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 really great with having all that stuff down and being responsible for their own part, their own stuff they needed to learn. I mean, it, it, it definitely showed because when I went to the music person, I, I regretted not going out and doing it just because, like, I see how much fun you guys had and the responsibility and all the stuff you guys, all the work you put in, it just looked extremely fun. And, like, the work you put in, it's not, it's like everyone thinks, oh, I have to put all this work in, but you guys enjoyed every minute of your practices and you guys had a great Sure. So, Liv, what do you think about the responsibility part of the well, music? Like Nolan said, I guess being leads kind of takes that to a whole other level. Um, speaking in, you know, performance, Performance-wise, um, whatever my movement is, could do somebody else's, could do somebody else's, and it's, you know, you have to take on that responsibility and know that do this here and realize that you could mess up some other stuff if you don't. I mean, even if you guys did mess up, you guys knew it well enough that you kept rolling, which is very impressive. Especially, I mean, when your cue's off, then it's like mess up. You guys did great. Did you find the musical allowed many to come out of their comfort zone and express themselves in a manner that you haven't seen before? Absolutely. I mean, even like, like we said earlier about the football players that came out and were dancing in sequin pants, the dancing queen. Um, <laughs> I, I, I guess I would have never expected that from the beginning, and it was so fantastic to see everybody unite. Definitely. What do you think about people coming out of their comfort zone, showing a little bit more of their personality? Oh, absolutely. They're there have been so many people that came into the musical as like really quiet, like younger kids, fresh off, that by the end of the show were like dancing, giving like hugs to the older kids. Like we really did become a family more than really any other group of people I've ever been with. Yeah, and definitely for like underclassmen, especially when I was an underclassman, you look at the you look at seniors and you see them. That that's like your role model to school. That's what you look to, and then. When you do the musical and you guys show these younger kids, like, we're just one of you, and they bond with you and you become friends with them, it, it does a lot for a ninth grader. I mean, from my point of view, I mean, I, I was friends with the older kids on the hockey team and stuff, and you definitely bond with these people, and that they become big role models. So with the variety of people that come from different backgrounds, were you exposed to different types of kids in situations that you may not have been uh, exposed to otherwise? No one go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so. Once again, I was talking about the younger kids who are kids that maybe I've never even seen before. Like some of the people I met at this musical were people I've never met before. And being able to befriend people that are younger than you and are in different classes and different like experiences than you, it, that's what made it really unique that we all came together over yeah. this common bond. Yeah, it, it didn't matter who you were, what you did, you guys were all just one big family exactly. there. And Liv, you came from a sports background, like you were saying right. before, but then you got to meet and bond and become friends with so many different people that you probably would never be been right. friends with. Right, I'm so grateful. So grateful for the, for, the, for the experience. And 
you know, like Nolan said, it is such a unique thing because anybody can do it. It doesn't matter what you do, what your interests are. And yeah, it was, it was definitely good for the school. Did you find yourself making any new friends through the production? I think we already know the answer, but Liv, mm -hmm. you can go first. Yes, absolutely. Every single person in the cast, hands down, is, is a friend. Yeah. Nolan? Yeah, same, same here. Even the new people I met are absolutely now friends. The people that I knew beforehand are now, I think, especially the leads, I think we're even closer than yeah. before. I mean, at, when I was at the show, I mean, after like you guys were saying, you guys were all hugging, hugging there was tears of joy flying. I mean, it was, it was just awesome <laughs> to see you guys, how close you were. Yeah. So do you feel people have discovered a newfound confidence from the production? Nolan, go ahead. Oh, for sure. Even, even people that weren't in it. Obviously, there's something to be said for the football guys and some of the smaller like lead roles that have gained the confidence from being in those roles, but also people that weren't even in the production that were able to watch a musical for the first time in two years and see, hey, I know those people and those people are doing it. Yeah. I, I think I can do that too. It's, it will definitely open up the door for people to start doing musicals more often, make it more popular. And I, the person I look at the most when I see someone that's like completely changed their confidence is uh, Scott Craddy. <laughs> I, I, I remember when he was young, he was so quiet and kept to himself. And then he, the older he got, the more he got, and then he got into this musical, he's wearing those big boots, and he, he made <laughs> everyone laugh. He had a very yeah. good personality for the musical. So Liv, what do you think about the people in their comp? Oh, I mean, absolutely, like Nolan said. I, it's just, you know, even coming off, of, off the stage after the first night of the show and having so many people come up to you and be like, what, this is so great, you've inspired me to do this next year. That's just, leaving that impact on other people is just something so special to know you've Awesome. It makes you feel good on the inside. Um, do you think the musical has positively impacted the school as a whole? Liv, go ahead. Absolutely. I think this year has been a year full of ups and downs, and to go off on such a high note is something really rewarding, especially as a senior graduating this year. Definitely. Nolan? I, I feel the same way. Not the senior bit, yeah. but <laughs> like, I know that our director, Mrs. Hillis, uh, talked to us a lot about the fact that this was our first show since High School Musical two years ago. So it, it meant a lot to bring that back. And I know I got a, I got a big hug from Mr. Lorigan after the show. Yeah. He, he was really proud of us. And that, that meant a lot to me. I think after, especially the beginning of the year we had and the struggles that we had at the beginning of the year, it truly showed the, the bond that we have at this school and how we're, we're here for each other. And that's why I truly believe that it showed it. We're in the musical. After all that has happened this year, do you think something like the musical was needed? Look good. Absolutely. I'm saying absolutely, but I mean, <laughs> it's, just, it's just so. I mean, having something so positive for not just our school to be involved in, but for the entire community to come together and support that. Definitely. It, it had such a positive impact. I mean, I, I knew people were talking about it months after it happened because mm -hmm. it was so, I mean, you guys, awesome, awesome, awesome. Nolan, what do you think about it? school year and that helped a little bit more positive. Oh, for, for sure. I, the people at our school, I think, really enjoyed it, which is extremely important. You always need that. But also, I think that even when you look at people that are outside of our school, like Liv said, I, I've heard things about the show from people that I didn't even know went, which is a really special yeah. thing. I mean, the, the preview, so before I go into the show, I was just like, hey, it's musical. And then we went to the preview, and you guys blew us away. And it, it was amazing. But I think that all brought a few more people to come when you guys did that preview for the kids. How do you personally reflect the core values of your school on a daily basis? Go ahead. I think it's as, as simple as, you know, the golden rule, do others, you know? Yeah. Like, if, if, if it's holding the door for someone, Saying, oh, if you cool shirt, Gavin. Like, but, but like, if it's something as simple as that, just being a good person in your own right is yeah, just definitely, yeah, definitely. Just, just be positive. Like, I mean, there's so much negative in the world anymore. I mean, if everyone just tried doing a good positive deed, I feel like you'd make it better. Live what do you entirely? Doing? I think, I think the whole environment of this school would change if if everybody just said one positive thing. I, th I think it'd, it'd be much needed, too. Is there anything else that you guys would like to add for our viewers? I mean, just, just an overall uh, 
thank you for those who came to the musical. Yes. Uh, it was an amazing time. It was an honor to be on that stage with so many of my now close friends. Thank you, Gavin, for yep. having us here. Yep. Liv, do you have anything yes. else? I'm so thankful for everything that I've you know, learned through this process now that I've had the ability to share through this experience. Thank you. Yep. I mean, I, I want to leave you guys with, if there's a musical, do it, because it looks like a lot of fun. And don't, <laughs> don't have any regrets when you leave. Cool. So I'd like to thank Olivia and Nolan for joining me today. We're going, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with more HSTV's Best of the Net. You may show up to IUP unsure of your major. Know this, you'll never be referred to as undecided, but instead as an explorer, encouraged, mentored. Without losing time toward graduation, explore your options, then choose a major. Exploratory studies at IUP. Get to the best version of you. And we're back with AHSPV's Best of the Nest. Next joining us is Hannah Sparrow and Scott Cray to talk a little bit more about our core values here at AHS and the recent production of Mamma Mia. So how do you think the musical represented the core values? Scott, go ahead first. Um, well, I believe this, uh, the musical represented the core values extremely well. Our main ones are obviously at AHS, we represent attitude, honor, and success, but there's a bunch of other ones like respect and kindness. I feel like Kindness and respect are the two big ones that we really felt, and we really felt great. Everyone was just so nice. Yeah, definitely. There was, there was not a mean bone in anyone's body during that musical. You Absolutely guys all had not. just love for each yes, other. Yes, we are a family. Yes, definitely. Hannah, what do you think? Um, I think that uh, the musical represented the values so well, but the one that stood out to me was positivity. I think um, positivity was just oozing through the cast, through the community, through the teachers, through the whole student body, and I think it was just wonderful to see everyone come together and become a family, like Scott said. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you guys had a very strong bond, like I mentioned before. It was, a, it was almost family-like. It was, it, was, it was fun to see and be there, watch you guys perform. Do you think the, core, the new core values here at AHS are helpful for students? Hannah, you can go first. I do think so. I think everyone has a different aspect to help the students in different ways, like responsibility, um, positivity, kindness, communication, safety. They all have a different role that they play in our lives. And I actually do take time to think about it during my day. And I noticed it through the musical. And I think they're all just very helpful. Definitely. definitely. Scott? Yeah, I mean, they're a great guideline for students because you know we're, we're growing. And we are definitely all flawed individuals. And it's good to always keep in tr trying to improve ourselves. you know, and just become better people, and I think through the musical also helped that a lot, like just us coming together, it boosted all of our, boosted everything about us, we're just, I think it makes us better people. Yeah, definitely, and, yeah. because uh, we're all teenagers and we're gonna do something stupid every once in a while, but I feel like if we keep pounding the core values in, we keep trying to be positive, keep trying to be nice to people, it will slowly start changing, everyone's gonna do something stupid yeah. once in a while, but if the majority's positive, then I think that's, the, that's the, something you wanna take away from high school. Do you think the musical will create a positive and safe space for students to express themselves? Scott, go ahead first. Oh, 100%. I think it was, it was so open for everyone, and I myself was even able to come out of my comfort zone even more. And that's something that I'm very good at coming out of my comfort zone, but I was never able to do it completely until music. The, the people involved, just everyone, the, the directors, the cast, they're all just great people, and they're always there for you, you know? Definitely. Yeah. I, mean, I think it, that safe space for so many people, like there was people I'd never expect to show the personality they had, and, but then when they went up stage, on stage oh, yeah. and they started showing it, I yeah. was amazed. And so many people came out of their shells, too. Like, so, yeah, it was amazing you what, know, what, you, what it like, did for people. Yeah, like the football boys. Shout out Jack Valasek, by the way. <laughs> Seriously, he is. He is incredible. And the, how much he came out of his shell and how talented he is, I am so proud of him. He is, uh, and I'm, great job, Jack. Some bromance going on. <laughs> Hannah, what do you think about the students coming out of their comfort zone? Oh my goodness. Like Scott was saying, it was just a wonderful experience for me because I have been in so many shows and it is so wonderful to see everyone develop in their character and it was so cool seeing Scott come out of his comfort zone and all these football players and all these younger girls that were in it. Like they were all like hidden in the beginning and then I remember by the end of the musical they would 
all come up to me and give me hugs and talk to me and it was just you did feel safe and multiple people did tell me that like they never wanted this again because it was such like tight on them. Yeah. It's it it will definitely sad seeing some of the seniors go, but I think that it just opened the door for so many more kids that wanted to start doing musicals and I think it will just it'll have definitely a positive effect for years to come. What AHS core values did you see in the practice during the musical? Anna, go ahead. Definitely positivity again and kindness. I just, I remember going around um, to each different like group during musical and I would talk to them all during it. Like the football players, I would stay with my own friends and then by the end I would branch out and um, talk to everyone. And I think it was just great, like a good positive and kind environment. No one had a mean bone in their body and everyone was just full of positive. Scott, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, every core value was shown as practice. Um, incredible environment. Definitely. And um, when I went to the, like I was saying, the practice show, I think it was like, I was shocked when they had you in the blanket and threw you up and your head <laughs> almost hit the ceiling. But like, you guys were able to stay calm and keep it together because I think that also show, showed like how experienced and how good you guys were together, that mistakes, you were able to keep going. Did you find the musical allowed uh, students to come out of their comfort zone? This is a little bit of the same question we just had, but Scott, go ahead. Yes, I do believe that. Uh, just everyone, even the people that I've never talked to, I can tell that they have come so far out of their comfort zone. Because the first two months of practices, I'm going to be honest, a lot of people were having a hard time coming out of their shell and singing. And you know those first two months were pretty rough, and even really the first half of the third month. But I noticed, and I feel like everybody did, everybody got louder and we got more in tune with each other and we all came out of our comfort zones, came out of our shells and really embraced who we are. I feel like instead of performing to an audience, you guys were just performing together as that one big family and I think that's why your comfort zone was so strong because you just forget about that. You're here with your friends. What do you think, Hannah? Yes, I agree with you, Gavin, and I think coming out of our comfort zone had to do with becoming a family and uniting with one another. and. Um, Liv Pock's aunt actually came, Michelle Pock, and she was on Broadway, and she came and worked with us. And I think after that day she was there with us, we became even louder and came more out of our comfort zones and became more like a family. And I think that boosted our confidence a little bit and helped us to. I mean, whatever, whatever magic she worked, it was awesome watching you guys do that musical. What was it like working with so many different people coming from so many different backgrounds to make the musical what it was? Anna, you can go first. Oh, wow. That is probably the best part about musical in my eyes. Um, I, uh, it's just kids coming that you would never think you would even be friends with, kids you would never even talk to past, and you wouldn't look at them when you walked by in the hallway. And it's just so incredible seeing how much you become like a family and the bonds you build, and I think it is so positive. And I, I am so glad because after this musical, so many people came up to me and were like wanting to do a musical next year so badly. And I think that is great. And the musical had such an impact. It, it definitely did. And I mean, it, you have people wanting to do it next year, and you also have a lot of seniors regretting not getting involved with the musical. Yes. Scott, what do, you, what do you think about that question? I mean, was frankly incredible to work with this many different people. I find myself, I think beforehand, I talked to maybe about 20% of the people who were in that cast. But I found myself just finding so much respect in everyone. And I really loved everyone in that cast uh, equally. It's just, I talked to so many people and I made so many new friends and I've strengthened so many bonds. I would have never spoken to Hannah over here. I never would have. I never would have talked to like, Ava Fermani, who played Rosie. I never would have played to CeCe Bowser, who plays uh, Allie. I never would have talked to like anyone, any of these people that are so incredible and have made my life so much better. And I am so thankful. I mean, just talking to you guys, I can see how connected and emotional you guys get when you talk about the musical. It was such a good event for the people in it and the people watching it. Um, did you find yourself making any new friends through the production? Scott, we know the answer. <laughs> yeah, yes. And I strengthened so many bonds with people who I was already friends with. It was just perfect. Yeah. Do the musical. <laughs> Hannah, did you make any new friends oh, with the musical? absolutely. I think my best friends are all from the musical right now. Um, 
Liv and Gabby Pock are one of my closest friends now, and I was so honored to be able to co-star with Liv. She was just incredible, and I love her, and I love all my new friends from the musical. Like, I pass them in the hallway, and I like have a huge smile on my face. So amazing. Um, do you feel people have discovered a, a new... A newfound confidence from the production of the musical? Uh, Hannah, go ahead. Oh, yes. Um, I think people like gain so much confidence after doing the musical. And I see like Ava Barton, she, this was her first musical. I remember her coming in like so nervous, not wanting to do this whatsoever. And now she's going out and doing summer musicals. And I'm so proud of her. And I'm so proud of everyone else. And like the fact that they're confident going through. Scott, what do you think about people and their... Oh, yes. People definitely found newfound confidence. And I'm going to use the same example I used before, Jack Valasek. When he came into his first practice, he hated it. And he did for a while. And, you know, he was, he's a football player, and he plays basketball. He's a sports guy. He's not like a... He's not a theater kid, basically. Yeah. But it was so great working with him, and to just see him... To just see him come out of his shell and embrace something that he never even knew he loved, but he does love it, I know, because he told me. It's just incredible. I mean, if you would have told me, like, after I watched the musical, that the kids that didn't want to be there when it first started, I could have never told you they didn't want to be there. I, could, I mean, you go there and watch it, every single one of those kids was, even the people moving the props were, had a big smile on their face the whole musical. I was one of the people who did not want to do it. It took a lot of convincing for me to do it. But I am so, I am so, so glad that Olivia Pock and Nolan Howland convinced me because they changed my life. You know, I heard, I heard Scott sing Gary come home in my truck one day going to a football game, and I knew right then that kid had to be in a musical. That's what I sang for my audition. Of course it is. <laughs> Do you think that the musical has a positive impact on the school as a whole? Hannah, go ahead. Oh, yes. I, not even just the school, but the whole community. I, we were flooded with, like, praise and compliments, and I think just as a community, we grew as a school. We tightened our bonds, and... I had so many people come up to me, like I said earlier, just like, like yearning to do musical next year, and people that have never even talked to me come up to me and tell me like how amazing it was and how happy. Like people went to all three shows. Like that says definitely. After all that has happened this year, do you think that something like the musical was needed? Talk ahead. Yes, because a lot has happened this year. A lot of not great things. But you know, it's it's great that no matter how 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 dark it seems like things get, there's always that one little glimmer of light. And musical really took it and expanded it, made it so bright that it burns out your retinas. And it was. Yeah. What do you think about the musical having a positive impact after the year that we've had? I couldn't have said it any better than Scott just did. I think that the musical was the light we needed in this school year. Like Liv said earlier, there was many ups and downs the school year. But this musical just, it, it was a light for us, and I think so many positive things happened, and I hope everyone... A normal thing that happened for this school, and it definitely helped so many people. Well, that's all for this segment of Best of the Nest. I'd like to thank Olivia, Nolan, Hannah, and Scott for joining me today to talk about the musical and the school's core values. See you next time.